Not dead! Not dead! Still not fucking dead! It's Tevin's fault.
Mr. Who Gods to me, Dawson? What resources do you mean? Turkey burgers and cherry juice. Uh, I don't eat that every day. We eat all kinds of stuff. Today we had salad and soup. You know? But no, I don't think I don't foresee the entire economy of an entire state shutting down and having a statewide quarantine for this coronavirus. Business related, I still have it.
go fuck yourself. No, really. Special delivery! <laughs> Special delivery! <laughs>
Shout out to my men super crazy. On Legends Arceus, and actually speaking of which, since we're playing this, I should move my stuff over to the right, because I actually remember <clears throat> the stats for the Pokemon actually go on the left-hand side of the screen for a lot of the gameplay. I want to make sure not to block that. Yes, <clears throat> previously, we had played this game a couple major streams uh, the last Ziggy week Piggy's when it back. came out on Friday, and it was really good. The first couple of hours boring because of tutorial, but as soon as the game opened up and became open world exploration, it got so much better. You know, different environments, catching Pokemon you don't have yet, looking for rarer versions of the Pokemon that are like mini boss fights. Um, Pretty darn good. I'm having a great time with it, and also... Lends itself to a lot of open conversation with you guys, since it is a lot of open world exploration and just trying to ga gather resources and catch stuff. <clears throat> we have another opportunity to interact and have a nice chill time, and people were like, man, this is good, but definitely this is the kind of stream that's good for a late night chill stream, since there's so much just kind of wandering around catching Pokemon and the like, to which I said, that is perfectly fine, let's make it the night stream, um, and let's have a good time together. So today's the first time that Pokemon is at night. I'll also be playing this again on Thursday night. So that's two days from today. And then I'll be playing it again on Sunday night. Yeah, this week. Six hours of advancement in Pokemon Legends Arceus. Three different streams, okay? <clears throat> so, I hope that you are excited. I hope that you are ready for some chill, interactive fun. I hope you have some stuff to talk about. Because we will have ample opportunity to do so when we play tonight, okay? Two hours of Pokemon here tonight. If you contribute in any way, whether it be a Super Chat, a Super Sticker, a Membership by joining the channel, or a tip, I'll give you a live shout-out and update the leaderboard to get you on there to give you some recognition. <clears throat> yes, we do have tip goals in effect. At $50, I put on a pair of Gunner glasses. At $100, you I'll put on a hat of your choice. Game? And tonight, we obviously have the very cool Pikachu hat big, big, in the running for the big, Pokemon stream. Big, now, I actually big, wore this on the last Pokemon big, stream, so it's not required. Tonight, is. we'll probably do big, the Cowboy, big, the Pilot, big, the Pokemon. Big, and yes, big, ladies and gentlemen, big, just for the hell of it, because one. it's brand new, we will have <laughs> the Skyrim Viking hat also eligible for tonight. Okay? I know that's silly. Why am I wearing a, a Viking hat during Pokemon? But <clears throat> just for the hell of it, because it's a brand new hat, I figure you guys might want to see it, especially if you weren't here on the earlier stream to see it. Okay? And then, if we hit the full tips goal for tonight, which would be outstanding, it would help a ton. You get to pick a vest for me to wear. I've not worn a vest in like half a week at least, if not a full week. So it would be great if we could maybe do that tonight. Now, um, what was I going to say? Crap, I had something else to say, and now I'm forgetting. That's not good. <clears throat> oh well. So, ladies and gentlemen... Tonight, if you're liking the stream, please like it. What I mean by that is actually click like on YouTube. My goal is to try to get 100 likes on every single stream that I do here on YouTube. Yes, even the late night chill streams, I'm trying to get 100 likes on each one. Since many of you who tune in are here to enjoy. I know that many of you are kind of the silent uh, my uh, silent majority. You watch, but you don't necessarily say anything in the stream chat. That's cool. Please, if you're enjoying yourself, please give the stream a like. If we get 100 likes on every stream I do this year, this will add a lot of discoverability to the channel, especially this month with all the new releases coming out. This channel having tons of discoverability on YouTube would be amazing, okay? <clears throat> um, What else? I don't really want to go talk for a million years here about stuff. I kind of just want to, I want to get started. Um, Reminder that tomorrow, we're actually heading back to the Forbidden City. Excuse me, I keep calling it the Forbidden City. It's the Forgotten City. Um, an intriguing game. We finally got, about a week ago, we got to the point of the plot where everything was explained, and now we have to try to get to our conclusions of the game, which there's four different ways that you can kind of beat it. Stupid thing. Um, and then I, I didn't play it for a week. <laughs> you know? I got I, I was ended up playing Pokemon and everything. I'm like, man, we're going to get back to it, I promise. But we're finally getting back to it tomorrow as the main stream. So I hope you guys will join me tomorrow for the main gameplay stream, the Forgotten City, and hopefully we'll st get some of the endings. Okay? <clears throat> Then tonight, uh, tomorrow what, what night, the late do? stream is the final late night stream of Halo Infinite for the foreseeable future. What I mean by that is two things. Number one, what, there's just no new I content do? for it at this point. And they've actually said there will be no new content for three months. Wow. No new maps, no new modes for three months. That's kind of boring. In addition, 
I the whole reason I was kind of playing Halo Infinite regularly was because I was trying to build towards getting to ranked matches all the time. I figured that would be where it's at. Ranked matches are absolutely terrible online. The connections are garbage because so few people are actually playing ranked that when you play it, you're playing against people who have worse connections, even though they have a rank close to yours, so the skill level, they're Stop supposed to be the same. The connections are terrible. It's not fun to play. It doesn't even feel like you're playing the real game because everything's so delayed and laggy. So it ends up being completely unfun, um, and I just don't want to do random mi uh, ma matches over and over on the same maps that don't mean anything. So tomorrow, I'll do kind of a send-off stream, goodbye, Halo Infinite, and then we'll put it on hiatus until they actually come out with new content for it, Okay. Keep in mind, there is a big major new release this week, coming on Friday. It is the release of Dying Light 2, and I'm excited for Dying Light 2. I hope that it ends up turning, uh, I hope that it ends up being, uh, good. After six years of development plus, you know, you gotta hope that they didn't botch it, and it ends up being entertaining. I hope so. <clears throat> Alright. Yes, Derek. Good evening. Good to see you. He's, uh, he says that uh, this is his favorite current playthrough because he used to watch Pokemon growing up along with Power Rangers. Two kids from his uh, two shows from like when he was a kid. <clears throat> Good evening, Jade. How are you? <clears throat> this is very loud. <laughs> Thanks, Derek. <clears throat> I appreciate that. What's up, Dark Maggot? Good evening. By the way, uh, you guys may have noticed one final thing before we get started here. There are two new pieces of fan art that have been added to uh, the intro of the game, or the intro of the stream. Uh, one for, for Horizon Forbidden West and one for Elden Ring. They're really, really good quality. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for when uh, I start up again here. And I gotta remember what button does what here because I don't remember. How do I open the menu? How the frick do I open the menu? Up or down? I haven't played this in a few days and I've forgotten all the controls. <laughs> okay. What, what do I do? That's right, Kagome. Kagome actually, he remembered what I wanted what, what to say and I, I forgot. Do? Are you guys ready? Let's start recording. I'll do a brief intro for the YouTube on-demand viewers, and then I will, uh, I'll say what I was gonna say that I forgot about. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> All right, everyone. Welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. It's been a few days since I played it. I actually played it two days straight when it came YouTube out. YouTube mode on. This last Friday, and then for a couple days I played other things, and I was off yesterday. Um, so today. Pokemon Legends Arceus now becomes a night stream. What I mean by that is it'll be played as a late night shift, two hour sessions rather than the daytime streams that has been up to now. It's perfectly fine because this kind of game lends it's itself to a late night fall. stream. People usually tune into my late streams to more relax and not really tune into, oh my god, gripping action-packed adventures. Okay, Not to say that there's no action in this game, but trying to catch Pokemon, exploring, gathering resources, turn-based combat doesn't lend itself exactly to the kind of people who, for example, would want to see a first-person shooter or something like that. You see what I mean? So, <clears throat> that being said, welcome back to There's Pokemon Legends Arceus. I'm excited. We were trying to beat this gold bat last time. Whatever the fuck I'm not going to try to do it now. I've lost to the gold bat enough times that we're just going to move on and try to do something else here. Uh, we're going to be heading towards the, the objective for tonight, which is the story, which is right, right down the road from where I am here. Um, so, quick reminder. Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a moron? If you are enjoying yourself tonight, please like however you may be watching. If you're on the live stream, please give it a like. If you're watching this video on demand on YouTube, also please give it a like. And feel free to leave comments and let me know what you think about the content of the video. This all helps for engagement, and especially this month of February, now that it's begun. This is going to help a, rit a ridiculous amount. Please, if you can, do so. Now, tonight, contributions are greatly appreciated, all right? If you are the top tipper by the end of tonight's stream... <laughs> You get to name a Pokemon in the game. You may notice Raz right there, my main starter Pokemon, named by Jade last time around. He was the top tipper, and he got to name him Raz, which is really cool. Um, and everyone else will be able to do that as well. Whoever the top tipper is by the end of the stream, and I wonder who it will be and what Pokemon they will choose to name. Will it be one of these? Will it be a different one that we catch tonight? Who knows, right? <laughs> okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, I think it is time... To get started. How is Raz today, said Jade? Looks good. It's been pretty slow. Not going to lie. You know, we've been, uh, he's been in his Pokeball. He's a little tired. He wants to be Do this. Do you want to play the fucking me. game? <laughs> oh, crap. So what we need to do is we need to get around this Golbat. Because this Golbat is going to attack me and kill my whole party. He's too overpowered. So maybe if I sneak, we'll be okay. There's a Drifloon right there. I'd like to catch it, but 
It's likely going to see me. By the way, it's... Oh my god, look how crazy this looks at night. It's full of fog. I didn't even mean to do that. I did it by accident. Son of a bitch. I really didn't mean to do that. Hello. Oh, I wanted to catch it, and I threw this instead like an idiot. Well, rollout will be super effective. Let's just see if we can take him out in one hit. Oh, uh, close. What, what do I do? I don't think I could actually... Maybe if I do Light Ember. Because I don't want to kill him. I just want to weaken him and try to catch him. Maybe I catch him now. You know, I just realized I used rollout, and now I didn't have to use rollout the next turn. But I thought rollout locks you into using rollout in a row if you use it. But it didn't make me. That was kind of weird. Let's see if we can catch this drift loop. All right, let's see here. Good evening, Sogo Osaka. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Welcome to the stream. Derek is saying there's new characters announced for King of Fighters 15. Brock Howard, Beast Howard, Bijan A, Gato, Billy Kane, and Ryuji Yamazaki will be DLC in March. Interesting. I wonder if they'll be sold as teams or if they'll be sold all in like a season pass or how it'll work. Uh, I guess we'll find out as we get closer. Maybe there is details, but... Quite frankly, as exciting as that sounds, I really would like to focus on Pokemon tonight and not just talk about King of Fighters all night. But uh, that is exciting news. Some of those characters I like. So, <laughs> I'd like to sneak up behind him and try to catch him, but I don't know if this will work or not. Kyle, yes, I can see your messages. Yes, I did watch the cartoon Pokemon Only Fear of Death. Not too often. Oh, crap. A Chesto Berry. But I need to, I need to go unload my inventory because my inventory is, like, jam-packed. Maybe if I go to the next story portion, there'll be a new camp or something. I don't know. But right now, it kind of sucks that my inventory is, is jam-packed and I can't really get anything from any of these guys. <clears throat> we have a honeycomb. Dazzling honey. Oh, combi. I don't think I have these yet. Do I have any combis yet? I don't think so. Let's see if I can get this one from behind. Good evening, Army and the Power. I'm doing good. Thank you for asking. No. Oh, I got him. Combi. Brand new Pokemon. Never had it before. Sweet. That thing evolves twice, right? No, I never played Pokemon Red, Christian. I played Blue. When it was a new release, I got Blue on it, and I played it on the Game Boy Pocket in the 1990s, and I never got red. So I didn't even know what the differences really were for a while. Oh, shit. Things fast. It's agitated. It's agitated. Okay, what do we got? So any flame attack is super effective. Use flame wheel. That'll do it. <laughs> Very nice. So, hold on. Got a couple. Oh, grit gravel. Of course, I can't pick it up. <sighs> Kevin did a super chat. He says, can you catch Pachurizu? My favorite Pokemon. I have no idea what that is. I don't even know if it's real or not. I've never heard of it. And I'm pretty sure this game does not have any new Pokemon, so I don't know if you're referencing a joke or something. But thank you for the super chat. An anonymous tipper, first tipper of the night. Just tipped a dollar forty-nine. Says here's a hot tip: you can sometimes rarely find Eevee at the Horseshoe Plains. Okay, I don't know where Horseshoe Plains are. But I do get the feeling there are rare spawns. And uh, thank you for the tip. We'll have to see what we can do and find Eevee or not. Hmm. All right, here we go. So I can't pick up the grit gravel because I have no freaking inventory space. What a de what a development! What a revolting development! <laughs> oh, we got some new Pokemon. Oh crap! I pissed them off. I lost them. I would love to catch these. 
What's funny is they're their own little thing. Like, if you look, they're all kind of isolated in their own little grotto together here. They're not really, you know what I mean? They're not on the open or anything. They're just kind of their own deal. And I get him. It was yellow chance. I did catch him. But now this Scyther wants to kill me. You missed me. Now you gotta fight me, Scyther. Caught one, but now I gotta fight him. No, I never collected Pokemon cards from the Fear of Death. As I stated previously, I, uh... Playing wheel is ass. I never really was a collector of that kind of stuff. I was collecting things like baseball cards, NBA... Not NBA, excuse me. Um, Baseball cards, uh, comic book cards movie collectible cards like certain movies pop culture movies had a lot of cards and stuff in the 90s that was the kind of stuff that i collected i didn't collect any it's been pretty slow games that you could actually use for any kind of competitive game or anything like that wow that's ridiculous uh, he had no health and he still escaped the pokeball he got double attack come on catch it I think I got him. Nice. Okay. So now we have two scythers. Shout out to CM Fool, by the way. Level. Oh, shit. Gotta switch Pokemon here. Level. Uh, uh, uh. Shout out to CM Fool, who did a two, a two dollar tip. And shout out to Raz, who leveled up. Dead air. Super effective aerial ace to this side of Nice. Wow, he insta kill. I am insta kill. I like Son of a my bitch. balls. <laughs> I says that. I Ugh. am cat and I liking my balls. My laugh sounds like ack ack ack. So I when see I laugh and I go here. <laughs> Much lack so you can pork while I try to cash. <laughs> Does that sound like ack 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 ack? No. It's not looking like that at all. I'm gonna do a light, a light tackle. Try to whittle him down to red health. Oh, good! These scythers actually do a lot of damage. And they, and they get two turns, which is bullshit. Gotta craft more Pokeballs. Nice. Very good. If you guys can't tell, this this game is way more action-based than other Pokemon games. There's just stuff going on and a lot of enemies, you know, you gotta pay attention to. Um and they're always on your basically right on you. And if you're not paying attention, man, they can eat you up. You know what I mean? So I gotta be on the game. I got my Raz just passed away. Okay, he didn't pass away. He he fainted. I'm mean, being a little too dramatic, but let me see what I can uh, what I can craft here. Can I craft any more revives? Yes, but only one. Can I craft more Pokeballs? Yes, a ton more. Can also make heavy balls if I want, but I don't really need those. Sky. Oh yes, I can finally make one. Sky Pokeball. Only one. Oh, it's called a Feather Pokeball. Excuse me. Now, I'm thinking that's better for flying. Yes. It catches Nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly in the air. So, any Pokemon that's in the air, that should catch more easily. Now, I only have one, so I got to be careful here. So, first of all, CM Fool to me $2 to be careful with Golbat. He will sometimes one-shot your entire team, and it would suck if you fight him for 20 minutes and then you end up losing. So, CM Fool reiterating what happened last stream, where obviously we were sitting there fighting the Golbat, trying to beat him. It was like a very Are challenging, you a functional epic mini boss fight, I have to ask. but it didn't work out because he's just too high level for my team. So, I have to come back later and try to get him. Which, by the way, I was I remember we could go back to the first area and try to catch that Snorlax now. Because if you remember, wasn't that Snorlax like level 12? No, actually, I take it back. Wasn't the Snorlax like level 40? So, we probably can't do it yet. We gotta go back later. So Mega Man NT says the Feather Ball will fly way longer than a normal Pokeball. You can use it to catch flying Pokemon way in the distance in places that you can't get to. For example, that Gyarados that we saw earlier is what you're saying. Gotcha. Kevin Bernstein did a super chat asking, what are my favorite balls? Uh, beach balls. 
Uh, let's see. Balzac. How, who, remember, who remembers the game Balzac from the 1990s? Go look that up. Oh, this music is nice. <laughs> mushroom. A springy mushroom. What sucks about this is... My Pokemon are hurt, and I kind of don't want to waste a revive. But I might have to, because Raz is hurt. I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll just save and take the chance. Save and take the chance. Okay. You know, that is true. Derek says you probably won't ever have to catch Snorlax. A bunch of Lax will, will evolve into Snorlax eventually. Good point. Okay. Who is this? the hell is that? Uh, I'm Leon of the Pearl Clan, a warden, the warden to Cleaver, Lord of the Woods. You Thanks, are decided, Derek. No, I've I already deduced that. you come here to meet Cleaver. Am I right, Anna? Aren't I? Blech. Of course I am. I can see it so clearly. After all, the powerfully awesome Cleaver has become even more awesomely powerful. Perhaps that strange lightning the other day was Almighty Sinnoh's divine little power. Lizard. Whatever it was, it struck my lord and left him imbued with an awesome light. So I must turn you away, even if it pains me. It's too dangerous for you to meet Cleavor right now. Okay. Well, that's that then. Sorry. Truly? You mean to simply give up? Is your passion for Cleavor so palty? But, well, I'm afraid your passion is not the real issue here. I'm told in no uncertain terms by Arita that I am telling no one near Cleavor. I will fight you myself if you insist. If you wish to avoid battle, withdraw now. I'll take him on with my Pokemon that aren't even freaking fully charged. How about that? You don't even realize I'm turning you away for your safety. How glad, how sad you are. Go Gumi. See if you can ooze some good sense over this foolish troublemaker. So, I don't know if Geodude actually is good against his Pokemon type. What, what do I do? Geo strong style bubble. Which, of course, is super effective against the Geodude and insta-kills him. What a shocking surprise that that would happen on the first turn. <laughs> oh, my God. I guess we'll get Mime Jr. in here, although he only has 48 health. Okay. Now, this shocks me. So, let's try to hit him with some confusion. Let's see. This is 50 power. Zen Headbutt is 80 power. Well, let's try that. Zen Headbutt. He avoided the attack. So I try to attack again. I say, you sent headbutt. And it actually knocks him out instantly. Okay, good. Wow, he got like nothing. How can this be? I may have been defeated, but my point still stands. It's too dangerous to meet Cleavor now. The only... Welcome. The only welcome you'll get if you approach him is a flurry of devastating blows. Normally, I'd simply try making him an offering. A nice heaped helping of his favorite food served up with respect by his local warden. That's me, of course, is usually enough to please him and soothe the prickliest of moods. But even I, Cleavor's loyal warden, can't get close enough to give an offering now. Not with the way Cleavor's rampaging and running amok. Okay? So apparently... That was that Gumi's a dragon type, which I didn't realize. Derek says, yes, it's actually one of the weakest dragon type Pokemons. Pokemons. CM Fool just sent me $4.20 to become the top tipper of the night. He says, do not use rogue Pokemon in that fight. Okay, thank you, CM Fool, for that very timely help. I really appreciate that. Oops, he's already dead. Thank you. So currently, CM Fool is the top tipper of the night. All right? If somehow he remains the top tipper by the end of tonight's stream, he will be naming a Pokemon in my Pokemon Legends Arceus playthrough, okay? So whoever's the top tipper by the end of the night will get the name of Pokemon. Okay, there's nothing like an outsider like you can do. The ancestors of Cleavor, Wordier, and their cohort drew on Almighty Sinnoh's power to protect Pokemon and people alike. It's so, so, it's, it's so, it's said. By their grace, our clan and any of us still live in the vast history today. Rita, what are you doing here? Ooh, excuse me. As you say, Cleavor has grown even stronger, but I'm afraid that strength poses a problem for us. If he was indeed struck by that lightning, 
Could the bolts have been sent by the false Sinnoh that the Diamond Clan bows to? Cleavor means so much to our clan. I'd hoped that we could bring the situation under control ourselves, but not throw our hands up and ask an outsider for help. But we must save Cleavor from this frenzy. Every moment it continues, the danger grows. <clears throat> if more people and Pokemon are attacked, it will lead to conflict with both the Diamond Clan and the Galaxy team. You! Stranger from beyond the sky, tell me, could you galaxy people fix all this? Could an outsider actually find a way to quell our lord's frenzy? I'll figure something out. <laughs> That's a positive outlook. Very well. Leanne and I will gather foods and please Cleavor in hopes that we might be able to get close enough to make him a proper offering. As for you, find a way to quell his frenzy, even if you must search every corner of the vast he suite. All right. I don't know what we're supposed to do to quell his frenzy. Phone's ringing. Your arc phone is beeping. A mysterious power now enables you to return to base camps in an instant. Press the X button while consulting the map on your arc phone and instantly travel to base camps and other locations. However, be aware this feature might not be usable in some situations. So it's fast travel has been enabled now. Okay. Uh. Head to a base camp and report what you've learned to Professor Laventon. So I guess we're done for now. We can actually go back to base camp, which is good because I need to revive and everything. How do I open the map? <laughs> I forgot how to open the map. The back button. Okay. Whoa, so where are we right now? Oh, wow. We're way over here. Look. What, what do I do? The Frenzy of the Lord of the Woods. That's where we are right now. Uh. Right? No. Where are we? This is the Heights Camp. This is where we are. We're in Grand Tree Arena. So there's a camp right in the middle here. Ava's Lost Satchel? There's a, mini a side quest here. Look. Norm's Lost Satchel. Richie's Lost Satchel. I don't remember having a mission to find these, but maybe I could go find them. Okay. Well, I guess what we're going to do, we'll actually go to the middle camp here. The Heights Camp. Yeah. All right, here we go. Derek says, a little Pokemon trivia. Atch did actually catch a Gumi in the show. Two evolutions, Sligo and Gudra. All right. All right. So here we are. I need to rest the Pokemon. Go and rest our Pokemon. Use a rest. Just a little while. I don't want to advance time yet. Boop. Okay. Your Pokemon rested and they're all happy and healthy. Okay. <clears throat> Fair enough. For that. All okay. right. Okay. Now. Darn. I'm sure. Oh, wait. I can make three. Yes, I can. I can make three here. Three Feather Balls. What I need to do, I need to store some items in this chest. Because I have way too many items in my inventory. So let's store a lot of stuff. Let's do... The balls of mud. The seed of mastery. Sword cap. So it says, Bug-like Pokemon and Fairy-like Pokemon will attract to this dazzling honey when you throw it. That's interesting. Derek says, I love that Krikatoon has a mustache. Krikatoon knows moves like Sing, x Scissored, Sword Dance, Silver Wind, Bug Buzz, and Fury Cut It. Jay says, uh, he has to go now, but he wants to say hi to Jasper and Cat. I will say hi to Jasper and Cat for you later, okay? I'm sorry that you're not feeling so good today, Jade, as he said on the earlier stream. I hope you feel better, and please uh, have a good night. All right, Kyle, I'm glad you found my streams again as well. You have a good night as well. A few people are taking off. An anonymous tipper just tipped me a dollar fifty and says, "When you die in the game, you lose items in a lost satchel. Those satchels are actually other players. If you collect the items and return to the other player, you're rewarded with merit points that you could spend on evolutionary items at the cart in town." Oh, so those are because I'm connected to the internet. I get to see where people passed away or were defeated on the map, and I get to go get items and rewards for it. I'm going to probably do some of that tonight because I've never done that before. That's interesting information. Thank you to the anonymous tipper for that very interesting information. So, let's see. We currently have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars in tips. Wait. Then I didn't count the last one. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, it's eight. I, apparently, I didn't count a dollar. There we go. We're at eight dollars in tips right now. Okay. Nice. All right. Oh, wait. I was storing. I forgot. Let's put a lot of stuff in here. Move all at once. Anything I'm not using to craft right away. This means needed for Pokeball varieties, okay? Cures Paralysis. And or could draw a Pokemon's attention. All right, I got a lot of empty inventory now, which is what I wanted. And now I want to organize the satchel. There we go. Nice. Now I have tons of empty inventory to grab new items. Sweet! <clears throat> Justin R. has just tipped me $10. He says, I'm sorry, Phil. I've been in the hospital. Oh, my God. I hope you're all right. He says, I missed your last few streams. Aiming for a top tipper tonight so I can name one of the Pokemon Turd Ferguson. <laughs> oh, boy. Love you, DSP. Keep up the positivity. Well, thank you, Justin. Yes, $10 currently is the top tip of the night. I hope you're all right. I hope you're, you're, you've are you're recovered from whatever was going on and uh, and you're better because I don't like hearing that my, my viewers are in the hospital, man. I hope, you're, uh, I hope you're feeling better. Thank you for the top tips. Now we're up to $18 in tips, guys. Excellent. We're on our way to hitting the tier one goal, which would be Gunner Glasses. Remember, tonight when we hit the different tiers, you get different rewards. At 100, it's a hat. And we have different hats in the rotation. Yes, the Pikachu hat is still in rotation. But now we have a Skyrim hat that's also in the rotation that I could wear tonight. Or we could do like the pilot or the cowboy hat too. All right. Let us continue. So this is good. I unloaded everything. Let's talk to the professor. Good to see you, ass. And how is your research into Cleavor going? Swimmingly, I expect. From PayPal. Oh, is that so? Now, that's quite the tidbit. A serving of his favorite foods will normally make Cleaver quite agreeable. Is that it? I need to mull, over, mull this over back at the laboratory. You should come along, too, dear boy. So, here we go. We're going to trade in our, our stuff. Here's all the stuff we got. Wow. PayPal. That level 30 mini boss. The level 16 mini boss. We got our first Pikachu. We got our first... Wow, we got a ridiculous amount of first Pokemon catches here. This should be a ton of points. Yeah, look, 22 caught, 20 more in one, yes. Different Pokemon species caught 13, 10 for the first time, 12 caught using a backstrike, and two alpha Pokemon caught. Boom. Now remember, when we go back to the base, I gotta show what's her name, my Pokedex. And uh, and hopefully if I show her the Pokedex, uh, I'll get an upgrade, maybe get three stars now. So, Zubat has been completed, Cyndaquil is completed, Geodude. Quilava also was completed in the Pokedex. Cool. But we have a lot more to use. So what I should probably do yet again is maybe sw switch up my Pokemon and start using all new ones again. However, I'm going to keep Quilava in the party. Why? Because it's the starter Pokemon. And I want to get it through all its evolutions and everything. So I'm definitely keeping him with us. Excuse me. I never collected Pogs in the 90s. Only Fear of Death. Funny enough, I still had some. Because the funny thing is... Oh, I actually didn't reach the next rank. Not yet. Oh. The funny thing is, a lot of things came with them. Like, sometimes you buy a magazine, it would come with Pogs. It was kind of weird how Pogs were trying to, like, invade everything in the 90s. Even though I had no interest in them at all, I ended up owning some. But, no, I never actively collected them or anything like that. Oh, let's see. Max Main says, yes, don't forget to upgrade your satchel. Thank you, because when we go back to town, I will absolutely upgrade the satchel in the town hall a ton of times. I'll probably use a ton of money to do it. Sounds good. Kagome, you have a good night. I'll see you tomorrow, man. All right. Darn, we didn't hit three stars. Shit. I wanted to basically hit a new, a new star level every time I went out, but I guess that ain't going to happen. Derek is curious if we can put Pikachu and Scyther in the party. Perhaps we can. Let's let's find out here. Scyther sounds like it could be pretty good. It seems pretty strong. According to the information you were able to learn from Irita and Leon of the Pearl Clan, were, were this the normal cause of events, that frenzied Cleavor would be calmed by a nice serving of his two favorite foods. I do wonder, is it possible that the aroma or some other components of these foods might combine in a way that would not only calm Cleavor, but draw him back for his, from his frenzy? Okay. <clears throat> but by your own report, even Cleavor's warden, who looks after Cleavor and knows him well, cannot approach him in his current state. It'd be a fool's gamut to get close enough to offer him food. Give me a moment, if you would. I need some time to ponder on this. There ought to be something in my research notes that can help. 
Okay. That's a clock picking. Gorilla Pimp, Pimp says his Pokeballs are bursting. Well, if your Pokeballs truly are bursting, it seems perhaps you should release the contents of your Pokeballs into the wild. For your own good. Eureka! We simply have to throw the food. We've quite the arm for throwing things, haven't you, ass? Might I suggest you take Cleaver's favorite foods and throw them at the Pokemon? Collaborate? Yes, it's all coming together. We can use our skill in poker crafting to shape Cleavor's beloved foods into balls, then throw them to achieve the same calming effect but from afar. A brilliant idea, if I do say so myself, as for what to call these yummy projectiles. How about tea time balls? Put one puts one in mind and bleh. Puts one in mind of a nice relaxing afternoon tea, does it not? Okay. Why would you simply call them Laventon Balls, Professor? Oh my, with that name, it sounds like I'm the one being launched at our frenzy friend. <laughs> In any case, we can rely on the Pearl Clan to gather the necessary foodstuffs, correct? Then you should get back to Gu Grand Tree Arena and let the Pearl Clan know our plan. If you're off to Grand Tree, best set off to the Heights Camp, eh? Alright, so before we do that, I definitely have to find that guy who I can buy more inventory space from. Um, and then, is it this guy? Yes. I'm gonna do a bunch. That's a thousand, I'm just gonna keep going. I'll see how much I can do. I think every time he increases it by like 200 or something like that. Oh man, okay. It's 500 every time. Ugh. Is he really only adding one? An extra one? Oh, man. <laughs> only one each time. There goes all my money. There it goes. Can we name a Pokemon after Derek? Well, as I said, Holy Warrior Tonin, the top tipper every night when we play Pokemon will be picking the name of a Pokemon. If someone wants to name a Pokemon Derek, they very well could do that. Okay? Shout out to Chim Charlton, who just became a channel member. Now, I believe this is a brand a brand new fresh membership, and if that's the case, we're currently at 355 members. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the most we've ever had. We are currently hitting a record every single time we get a new member and it increases. This is a new record for DSP Gaming. So like I said, this is a very exciting month. We're going to have people coming out for new games. We're going to have people joining as memberships. By the way, we also hit a new record of subscribers during today. During the earlier stream, we hit over 196,000 subscribers here on DSP Gaming. That's the most the channel has ever had. So everything is on the up and up and up. And this is exciting. Very exciting. Okay. Let's continue. So here we go. 3,000. All right, I gotta. I don't want to spend all my money. Maybe I'll do one more. Okay. Well, all right, one more. Then I'm gonna call it quits because I do want to save some money in case I need it for something. Here we go. All right. Very good. No, it's too expensive now. Let's take a look at the inventory now, right? Yeah, we got a whole new row. That's cool. Look at all that. All right, hopefully now we can collect even more items in the wild. Sounds good to me. Oh, let's see here. Pinocchio says, predict the amount of viewers you'll get for the Elden Ring premiere stream. All right. It's, a, it's almost a month away. I'm going to say for the Elden Ring premiere stream, we will get 687 viewers. That's my guess. That's my guess. Okay, let's continue. Derek says, what about Pikachu, Scyther, Silcoon, and Happiny in the party? All right, let's see. Let's. We're going to have to go back to the camp, I think. That's what we're doing now. When we go back to that camp, um, I think we can make the party. But wait a minute. Weren't there, wasn't there a way to see side missions? I feel like there was a way to see your side missions. And now I can't remember how, how do you do it. I don't know. I'm 
I'm feeling... Huh. I don't know. I swear... What, what do I do? A way to see all your missions that you have, because I have side missions plus story missions. I can't remember how to do it now. I'm having a brain fart. Pink Hue says you press minus to go to that map screen, but then you press Y on the map screen. All right, I'm going to try that. Thank you, guys. My, my, that Galaxy Hall is one fine building, even from the outside. The Galaxy team certainly got themselves a grand headquarters. I'll give them that. Oh, yes, I came because I have some news that I thought you might be interested in. Better you actually see what's going on, though, so let's head to... What did you end up calling it? The Heights Camp? All right, that's where I was going to go anyway. Okay. Look who it is. It's our buddy. The Wyer. I spoke to Wyer about what's been going on. I told him how you've been trekking all over the field lands, seeking for a way to quell Cleavor's frenzy. All this from someone who's not even part of our clan or the Pearl clan. Just some wanderer who fell through a rift in this world. Hearing that, well, you can see how he's responded. I trust that you appreciate it. Wyer's found you worthy, you see, which means that you need a flute like we have. Mind demonstrating for him, Mai? This is very important, so listen well. All right, get it ready. Woo! Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Sounds like a wild turkey. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Wire. That's a Celestica flute that Mai just played. It's a precious tool that can be used to call a Wire so you can ride upon him. It said the Celestica Flutes were gifts from Almighty Sinnoh itself, and now this one's yours. <laughs> I'm playing a woodwind instrument. Alright, I received a Celestica Flute. A flute that can be used to call special Pokemon that are willing to bear you around the region. Its timber is eerie and mysterious. Oh my god, only Veer of Death said it's a Vuvuzela. A Vuvuzela. That's a really old reference that most people won't even remember anymore. <laughs> By the way, guys... We're about a half an hour into tonight's stream. If you're having a good time on the stream tonight, please consider giving the stream a like here on YouTube. My goal is 100 likes on every stream. So far, I believe we're around 60, so we're doing good. It would be great if we could be on pace to hit the full 100. Uh, if you're watching this on demand on YouTube as a video at your own leisure, please consider giving it a like if you're having a good time. And also, consider leaving a comment, whether you have to talk about something going on in the game or just want to say what you think about the video. I would appreciate that. Okay. Uh-oh. So Mega Man says... Mega Man NT says, get ready to use this janky and buggy thing. You'll get up to places you're not even supposed to be yet. Oh, yeah? <laughs> it's not that grand a gesture. I can't play the flute for the life of me. Then just go, Boo! and it sounds exactly the same. See if you can play that melody. You did it right away. It's Dark it's Dave's fault. What if, what if he went to do it and he does it wrong and it summons, like, a big stinky, uh... The big stinky garbage Pokemon, the, you know? It's like seeping big pus and stuff all over. Like, bleh! Does it call me? Bleh! <laughs> all right. Enough of that. Ridiculous. So, oh, uh, let's see here. Possum says, would you recommend this to my wife? She loved Pokemon Sword. I can't, I don't play Pokemon. I've heard mixed things. I like it, but it's definitely more action-based than previous Pokemon games that are more chill turn-based. But still, I'm having a good time with it. I'm, I'm having a relaxing time with it. It's fun to explore and catch the wild Pokemon, so I like it. So I, I would recommend it. Anyone who's a fan of Pokemon would probably like this game, especially because it's refreshing. It's not the same as the others. Okay. Wider opened his heart and leaned learn, leaned well. He leaned. He did a lean-in manual well. <laughs> no. He, he opened his heart and learned well the sound of your playing. There we go. Fuck. You got marvelous antlers. We received the my mind laugh plate like from we're here. What is the so mind laugh plate? Go, <laughs> or a stone tablet imbued with the essence of <laughs> psychic like energy. Act, when you act, use it with a certain act, Pokemon, act. it allows that Pokemon no, to gain the power of the like psychic type. So a Pokemon that's not psychic can become psychic? What does that mean? That could learn psychic abilities as well, perhaps? Hmm. So, actually, it's probably exactly what it means. It probably means you, you equip that to a Pokemon that's not psychic, then you can teach it psychic abilities. 
CM Fool has tipped me $11 and has become the top tipper of the night. And CM Fool says the following. DSP, name a Pokemon The Rock. Oh, he's saying if he's the top tipper by the end of the night, he actually wants me to name a Pokemon The Rock. <laughs> okay, then. Well, we currently do have a Rock type in Geodude. So I guess he would possibly be the best candidate for that. But indeed, let's see what happens for the rest of the night here, CM Fool. You may not be the top tipper by the end of the night. Thank you for that contribution. Okay. Derek says, are you talking about Trubbish and Garbodor? There's two? I only remember there being one big, big garbage Pokemon. But I guess there's more than one. Derek is the expert on this, not me. Okay. Thanks. He puts it right in his butt. <laughs> right between the cheeks. Now, use that Celestica flute wisely and gallop across the land with the great Weird Ear. You've got a frenzied Pokemon to quell at Grand Tree Arena, haven't you? With Weird Ear, you can gallop across field lands in no time. So if you're not interested in catching the wild Pokemon, this is a way to get across quickly. Press the plus button to summon the Pokemon to ride on. Be sure to stay alert for wild Pokemon attacks and avoid falls from high places when you're riding about. Okay. Give it a shot. Ready? That's a fast response time. That thing just shows up instantly. Wait a minute. There's a quest here. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Look at this guy. Hold on a second. He kind of looks like someone. He looks a little familiar. Look at this guy's face. Kind of looks like someone. <laughs> wow. They actually put me in the game. Does he have the same bald spot as me, too? No, he has better hair than me. But I'm in the game. Like, I'm seriously in it. That looks exactly like me. He even has the bags under his eyes. Holy shit. He has a better hairline than me, too. I'm very upset. But anyway, balloon race. Let's see what this is. Nice to meet you, young Survey Corps recruit. I hear you have the rare ability to dash over hill and veil on the back of a Pokemon, yes? Why not try your hand at a balloon race? It's a t game I invented myself. Really, just need to burst as many of my adorable balloons as possible while riding a Pokemon. If you manage to burst 17 balloons, it'll be an impressive start. Find me here anytime. Let me know when you feel like testing your skill in a balloon race. So, ladies and gentlemen, PewDiePie gets himself into YouTuber's life, too. Well, guess what, motherfucker? Guess what? I'm in Pokemon, bitch! That's what I thought. What's his name? Uh, that streamer dude fucking gets into Cyberpunk, the worst game ever. I'm in fucking Pokemon. Suck it. <laughs> okay. Whoa, Jackie did a, a dollar fifty tip. So you're interested in purchasing a bird? Birdman is heading to your area with a flatbed truck full of Wonder Birds. Okay, I'm going to read. I don't even know what this is a reference to, but thank you for the tip. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Okay, so balloon race. Let's do it. I'll give you a try. 30 balloons. Wait, I just realized I don't know how to ride this thing. Dash B, okay. Oh, you're not supposed to hit the Pokemon? Oops. Oh, I should have jumped. This one's moving. There you go. Oh, crap. I needed... Yeah, can I... How do you jump? I thought I said A was jump, but it didn't do anything. No, it really didn't do anything. What, what do I do? It doesn't do anything. I thought it was A. Oh, it's freaking Y. It's the wrong button. No wonder. I should have paid attention. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, let's see here. Uh, ever collected Yu-Gi-Oh? No, I never collected any Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Ellipsian, what are you talking about in regards to tomorrow? 
He says, I hope you're ready. The many will suffer for the sins of one tomorrow. Ellipsian, what are you talking about? I'm a pussy. Exactly. <laughs> so, Rubidor says, hold down A to constantly sprint and Y jumps. Yeah, I was pressing... I was what, pressing. What do I do? B, no, I was pressing B to sprint, but then I was pressing A to jump and it was Y and it screwed it up. Oh, it's a line from The Forgotten City? Oh, gotcha. I see. Ellipsian was referencing The Forgotten City tomorrow. Ellipsian, you were creeping people out. Seriously, people in the chat were like, What? What? <laughs> They're freaking out. You're re referencing the Forgotten City for tomorrow's stream. So I got 25. You're so close to bursting them all. You give me 10 Pokeballs. How Wait a minute. You gave me 10 Pokeballs? How is that a reward? I could craft those easily. It's the most common thing in the game. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. He gave me more. He gave me Feather Balls, too. So wait. I'm going to do it again and see if I can do it all. So it's B to dash... And why to jump? Now I know that I know how to jump. Maybe I could do it. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> here we go. Woo -hoo -hoo! Three, two, one. Suck! It's time to suck. I'm going to suck. You know I'm going to suck. Okay, good. That was a good jump. Oh, oh, I thought I missed it. Jump! Oh, nice! What a catch! Okay, camera. Rotate, please. Thank you. Yes, I did it. I thought I missed it. Woo! Very nice. <laughs> so welcome back, you first 30 balloons. Perfection. So what do I get? A nugget. A nugget is the purest form of gold that gives off a lustrous gleam in direct sunlight. It can be sold at a high price to the general store. There you go. All right, very nice. Do, 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 do. Oh, you guys will give me a rare candy. That's a leveling item, right? A rare candy is packed with energy. When consumed, it instantly raises the level of a Pokemon by one. There you go. Nicely done. Not only did I finish the mission, I uh, basically completely defeated it. Very nice. Now, I want to change my Pokemon. Do I talk to him to do that? Here we go. Derek, we're going to switch right now. He says, maybe you switch characters in the second half of the stream. We're doing it right now. Who do we want? I want to keep Raz in there, okay? And I'm thinking Munchlax, I kind of want him to evolve into Snorlax, which will be a really good character. Now, who would I want to add? Wow, I have a ton of Pokemon. I think I want to bring a Scyther. Uh, this one appears to be stronger. This one has better HP, so let's take... That one. Let's let's swap out the Scyther for the Cricketoon. Let's do... Let's see here. I kind of want a ghost. This is ghost type, right? Yeah. Let's take the Drivloon in place of the Mime Jr. The Mime Jr. kind of stinks. I'm not going to lie. Uh, What do we got? What the hell is this happening? It's just fairy. Huh? I kind of want a fighting type. So I might bring in a Machop. I think Machop uh, would be a good choice here. You know what's funny? This Machop here, even though it's a lower level, has has stat. Oh, you can't see it. There's nowhere. There's seriously nowhere good to put the freaking. Uh. There's nowhere good to put my camera where it doesn't block something. All right, I want to show you. What I'm looking at is the stats, and if you look at these three Machops. The two on the sides, this one has no stat buffs at all. This one has a number two stat buff of special defense. This one has stat buffs in HP, attack, and special attack. So even though it's lower level, it actually has better base stats. You see? So I kind of want to go with this one. If I was going to try to, to, uh, if I was going to try to do this, you see? So I think I'm going to take Machop. Who should I swap out here? Let's swap out, uh...
I guess we'll swap out Boozeal. Or Buizel, excuse me. So now we have Psychic and Ghost, Fighting and Steel, Rock, Normal, Ground, and Regular Psychic is just for sleep. You know, it's kind of a double up now. It is a double up. So maybe I'll get rid of Geodude after all. Alright, if I'm going to get rid of Geodude, who do I want to put in place of Geodude? Uh, oh, I know who I want. I want Pikachu. Of course I want Pikachu instead of Geodude. It's ridiculous. Everyone wants Pikachu in their party, right? All right. Yes, uh, Ellipsian, we, were, uh, we saw that. They're called Grit. Grit items. Those are the ones that give you the stat... Oops. Those are the ones that give you the stat buffs. And uh, I definitely want to find more of them. Because I think I could level my guys up pretty good with those. Only guys, Divinity, thank you for the dollar for the tip. Yes, we see that Sony is buying Bungie. I talked about it on today's pre-stream podcast. I recommend that you watch the podcast. It was very informative earlier today. And it's live right here on DSP Gaming. Also, CM Fool tip the dollar fifty. Says, what about top mid? Nah, I don't like doing top mid because it, it technically will block other stuff. Usually, a lot of important stuff is in the middle of the screen, top up there. Derek is saying that Happening will evolve two more times. Let me take a look at Happening. See, here's my problem with Happening. All right, it's only fair. Drifloon, I like I like having that double, the double classes. It gives more, it gives more opportunity to have a weakness or something in combat. Like, for example, Machop has fighting, but also steel. Munchlax has psychic, but also ground and rock. Pikachu has lightning for now, but I believe later on he gets some really good normal attacks. Um, bug, flying. See? Fire, rock. But Happening is only one class. It kind of makes me not like Happening. Alright, how about this? We will do it for now and see what happens. If I'm not pleased... If I'm not happy with Happening... Then Happening's going back to the box. <laughs> we'll see what happens, okay? We'll give it a try. So there we go. Um, let me save my game. And we'll, we'll continue on here. Alright. Looks like there's nothing in particular for you to report. What would you like to do? I'll just continue. And I need to ride... What's his name? Okay, now I have to go this way. So the reason they did this is because they want you to be able to move quickly. Okay, here's what I want to do. I want to find Ava's Lost Satchel. Can I set a pin here? I'm curious what happens if we get the Lost Satchel. Let's see, because we haven't done this yet. So it's dev... Wow, you're way faster on him. That's for sure. There's some Geodudes. Geodude, Geodude. You can't grab any items when you're on a mount. You're limited. So, let's see here. The satchel's supposed to be right there, huh? How do I get off? All right, so now, right, how will I trade that in? I wonder if you have to go to the camp or what? Oh, I don't have these Pokemon over here, do I? Oh, wait, I think I do. I think these are the evolved form of the one from earlier. Now, I evolved in myself, but if I catch this, it might help me with the stat. You know what it is, is... Uh, if I use the, the other balls, this, feather balls. I have 19. I might as well just use a feather ball and see if I can catch these. Okay. Mega Man NT says if you go to the wireless menu, there's something called lost and found. There's a wireless menu in the game? How in the hell do I find that? There's a wireless. Oh. Lost and found. Okay. If you black out on the field, you lose some of your items. However, players from the world can find your items and send them to you via the internet. If you find a satchel someone else lost, be sure to pick it up. Your retrieve will give you merit points. Merit points can be exchanged for items at the trade post in Jubilife. Where did I get these from? Oh, these are the other ones. Okay, so uh, I guess we're done here? I didn't lose any satchels yet. I received a thank you gift. 
Oh, 85 merit points. So that's what you do. You find them, you trade them in, and then you go get, you get buy stuff with them. Okay. Nice. I'd like to catch this guy, but I'm going to turn around. You know what? I'd probably lure him with a berry. Jeez, the sound coming out of that berry is like a, a fucking a 20 pounds of gas. All right, feather ball. Let's see if the feather ball catches this guy. Absolutely not. He's incredibly furious with me now. He can't see me, though. I'm hiding in the tall grass. This guy refuses to be caught. He's a jerk. One more attempt. Oh. For some reason, it didn't increase my chances of catching it. It was supposed to. That was the whole point. How do I select the other one? Yeah, I don't understand how to go between targets, which is really annoying. Like, what if I want to select the other Pokemon? I don't know how to do that. It keeps selecting that one by default. I want the other one! How do I select it? Oh, it's A. What, what do I do? It still doesn't work. I'm pressing it. It doesn't do it. I won't change to the other one. What, what do I do? Come on. Oh, come on. Oh, my God. I'm just going to have to fight, aren't I? I wanted to catch it easily. The game will not let me do it. It's really being annoying right now. A spoiled apricorn? What do I do with that? Things are uncatchable. They always escape. That's it. <laughs> Alright, this is not good. My Pikachu got ganged up on. He didn't even get a turn. Wow. What a waste of time that was. I used him because he was going to be super effective. Nope. He gets destroyed. Ugh. Can you catch two Pokemon in one fight, you think? Maybe you can. Do you think they're getting enough turns? Wait a minute. How do I tell who he's attacking? Right? How do I tell who, the, who my Pokemon is attacking? I actually don't understand this. How do I... Yeah, when I say fight, well, how do I know who I'm targeting? I don't know. What, what do I do? What do I, I do? had no way to target a Pokemon. It just auto-targeted, so now I attacked. I wanted to try to kill the other one instantly, and there was no way to do that. That's weird. I'm not saying there's no way to do it. I'm saying the game never explained this. It never said, oh, when you're in combat with two different Pokemon, here's how you do it. Which is really dumb. It absolutely should have done that, and it hasn't done it. I'm gonna try to catch it. Gets two turns. He gets three turns in a row. Three. 
Three turns! Got him. So I'm being told by Rubidor, your target is in the top right, which I didn't know. And it says you can select... What the... You can select them by using uh, your triggers. Triggers. I'm triggered right now. But this game didn't explain anything. I'm very triggered. Okay, let's let's rest the Pokemon. Just a little while, because I actually want to explore at night and see what new Pokemon are crawling around at night. There may be actually be different Pokemon out here. All right. So, I think I'm going to go on foot. Although, although, mounting is an interesting premise. I think on foot you get better exploration. Wow, these Drifloons teleport everywhere, huh? So, for those who don't know, the lore behind Drifloon is incredibly creepy. Are you ready for this? The lore is supposedly... That Drifloons stalk children and kidnap them and the children never return. I'm not kidding. That's the that's the lore behind Drifloons in Pokemon. That they're ghost Pokemon who haunt and ch and kidnap children and the children are gone forever. So it's assumed that they're killed, right? Right? I mean, what else is happening with the children? What could be happening? Anyway, uh, <laughs> CM Fool took me $4.20. It says there are boss Pokemon to get two to three turns. That was not a boss Pokemon I was facing at all. That was a normal Pokemon. I had done a heavy attack, which meant that it was going to get an extra turn. But I don't know why it got two to three. That was absolutely ridiculous. Now, it's pouring rain outside. It just got very loud. I may actually have to close my window here. Because it sounds like it's really heavy rain outside. The rain is very heavy. Heavy is the rain. The rain is full of mass and weight and lots of noisy volume outside right now. So thank you for that tip, CM Fool. We're out to $36 in tips. By the way, CM Fool remains the top tipper of the night with that $11 tip from earlier. <clears throat> what do we have here? Oh, those are the ones we already got. Okay. I'm looking for new kinds. I don't see anything new. I'm looking around. I don't necessarily see any new Pokemon that I hadn't previously caught. There is one in the tree. Maybe we should try that. Shitty. Shit. Saw me. <laughs> It's raining where Derek is, it's raining where Mythical is, raining everywhere. Apparently the whole world just got overcome with rain. Got the Zubat. So there's one. Is that a Pidgeotto? Or a Pidgeot? I still can't reach it, I don't think. Because everyone's saying you can reach longer with this Pokeball. I can't, if I can't target the Pokemon, then I probably can't hit it, right? Now, nah, see? Unless it lets, unless it shows it, I don't think so. It's a Pidgeot, not Pidgeotto, it's the middle of evolution, okay. Nope, it's not close enough to do it. Crap. Alright, let's see what we get here. Oh, this guy again? We already got one of these Burmans. We already caught one. First attack from Pikachu. Again. Goodbye, Burmy. Okay. 
I need to defeat a third to do more research. Okay, we're, uh... Where am I right now in relation to the map? I'm down here at the coast. I need to cross over to get grab to the Grand Tree. Or I could, I could try other stuff. Let's go down to the beach and see what's down there. Okay. Did I ever like Spiro? Yeah, Spiro was cool. Spiro was one of the, the very first bird types, I think, on the show. Right? I think so. That was not what I wanted. I wanted to save. There we go. Here we go, ass. Pinocchio says, I've been playing this game for a few hours. It's like a five, five or six to me. Feels very low budget and amateur. Pokemon's the biggest media franchise. When will they act like it? So, here's the thing. Graphics, this game is terrible. I'll take a look at it. This looks, it seriously looks like a PS2, late PS2 era game. Like, play Final Fantasy 12, and the graphics probably look better than this. I'm not kidding. But, when it comes to gameplay elements and everything, the game is interesting because it does things that Pokemon has never done before. I'm not saying that that's groundbreaking. I'm just saying for Pokemon, it's very different that they actually, they went out of their comfort zone a little bit to make it more action-based combat and actually catching the Pokemon actively rather than having to fight and weaken them and do turn-based stuff. It is very different in that regard. I'm not saying that it bl should blow your socks off or whatever, but if you enjoy Pokemon like I do, I think that they're relaxing games. Um, I think that it's a pretty good game because they innovated a bit. Um, for the franchise. Again, they innovated for the franchise, not for games in general. But for the franchise, it's very different. They didn't just go the turn-based route, finally. So, I enjoyed it. Or, I am enjoying it, I should say. Uh, and I really like how now we're having fun interactive streams playing it. I knew we would do this at night. That it would be a fun stream where we can all kind of chat it up. And I hope you guys are liking it. But, yeah, I kind of agree with you there. They're not doing anything extra special, no. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll fight this guy. See if we can beat him. And, uh go from there. Can, Poco can Pikachu electrify this guy? Bye, Burrell. The first thing he does is hit him with a water pulse and insta-kill him, so that's good. <laughs> Great. Of course, Pikachu would have been super effective, but he's dead. So let's get him in here with Rock Smash, fighting type. Hello, Ray. How are you tonight? Welcome to the stream. Alright, let's do it. Rock Smash, super effective. Nice. And his def defense is low. Beautiful. Of course, Machop is almost instantly killed with a critical hit. Critical hit there. But he doesn't die. Alright, at least it wasn't instant knockdown, right? No instant KO there. Let's get Happiny in there, just to be stupid. <laughs> All right, we're gonna do heavy, strong style fairy wind. And it did it, it beat him. Cool. Level up for Happiny. A lot of experience points for Happiny for winning that fight, actually. Okay. Well, sadly, we lost a bunch of my Pokemon, so I guess we're gonna fast travel back to camp again, revive, and then go from there. Here we go. Okay. All righty. All right, so ladies and gentlemen, FYI, we are halfway through tonight's Pokemon Legends Arceus stream. I hope you're having a good time. Nice relaxing time. We're fighting Pokemon. We're about to advance the plot more once we get back to the forest, but I'm enjoying doing some random catches and fights along I the need way. Those, that money. I really do. I need that money Pokemon. to pay my bills. I'd like to say thank you to everyone who's chilling with me so far. First hour has been great. Currently... We're at like 76 likes. Again, guys, my goal for every stream in 2022 is at least 100 likes per stream. So if you're having a good time here tonight, there's over 200 people on the stream. Please give the stream a like. It's free. It's it's easy. It helps out the channel. Okay. Um, it's been pretty slow. Tonight's stream and uh, all the stats and everything. Currently, CM Fool is the top tipper with an $11 tip. Now, remember, the top tipper by the end of the night gets to name a Pokemon. Currently, we have Josh R, or excuse me, Justin R, as well as CM Fool, who say that they want to name a Pokemon. Right now, CM Fool is in the lead, all right? Now, he wants me to name a Pokemon The Rock, obviously. Uh, oh, my gosh, excuse me. Obviously, uh, I will likely name, like, a, a Rock-type Pokemon The Rock. 
if CM Fool is still the same tip, uh, top tipper by the end of the night. Now, we're currently at $36 in tips. We haven't even hit the tier one reward goal yet for tips. Go, I sure go, would like go, to hit go, some go. of these rewards Send tonight. If we raise $50 in tips, it's going to glass this time. At $100 in tips, you get to pick a hat. And, of course, the shoe-in hat for tonight would be the Pikachu hat. Should be awesome to wear. He's in my party. All right? But there's other hats as well. There's a brand-new Skyrim hat that's available in the rotation as well. So if you guys are having a good time and you're thinking of contributing, please do sooner rather than later. That way, if we do hit a goal, you can see the reward for longer. What's been happening... I've noticed in the past couple of weeks, there's a few streams where last minute we hit a goal, and now there's no time to really do a poll or anything, and I have to kind of rush to just do something quick before my stream adjourns. I'd rather have it so that you guys get a longer time to get your reward, all right? So if you're thinking of contributing by tipping tonight, please do so sooner rather than later. Thanks. Okay. All right, everyone. Second half of tonight's Pokemon Legends Arceus stream. Let's head back out again, okay? And... What I may do is kind of turbo through this area a little bit on our mount. Since I already have all of these Pokemon, I don't really see any YouTube reason mode to like on. Dally since I'm not going to get anything new by hanging out around here. I kind of want to get back to the forest. And then in the forest, there was a bunch of stuff I didn't do yet. So that's kind of what I'll focus on. <clears throat> Let's get down there. Derek, yeah, I guess so. That's the staple of the show, right? He says it's amazing that... Ash and Pikachu remain friends like forever since the beginning of the Pokemon series. I mean, they were that was like the first plot was that Ash meets a meets a Pikachu, befriends the Pikachu, and the Pikachu becomes his personal friend. Even though other people in the universe have Pikachu's as well, this particular Pikachu becomes like a close friend rather than like like a trainer relationship. This Pikachu is always out of his ball, which is odd because everyone else keeps their Pokemon in balls, but not this particular Pikachu, right? It is a little weird and different. But I think they felt that Pikachu was so cute he could be the mascot of the whole series, and that's why they kind of did that. Um, but yeah, you know, there always was a special relationship between Ash and his Pikachu. And now, here we are many years later, and I'm sure Ash has caught many other, Pika uh, many other Pokemon and stuff over the years. But I'm... Oh, shit. That's a nice one. But I'm sure that they still has, he still has that special relationship. Can someone please shut up this Pikachu, dude right? who's being a, a moron? What is this thing? It is a nice looking Pokemon. I got it. It is the Beautifly. Nice. First one. Beautifly caught on the first shot, too. That's right. Uh, so, first of all, Kevin did a super chat and he says Pikachu. Excuse me, he didn't say that. Derek said Pikachu. Look different in the original anime. He did. I agree with you. Wasn't he like much chubbier? He had a much different design and appearance. They changed him over the years. Um, so shout out to Kevin who did a super chat. He says I want him to name Meowth Jasper. That would be cool. I mean, yeah, that would be cool if we had a Meowth named Jasper. But number one, I haven't caught a Meowth yet. And number two, you're not the top tipper, so you can't ask for anything. <laughs> An anonymous tipper. Tip me a dollar forty nine. It says the Sasquatch's long looping gait is an adaptation that allows it to move quickly in deep snow. I don't know if that's a reference to magic or a reference to Yu-Gi-Oh or a reference to something else, but it ain't a reference to Pokemon because there is no Sasquatch uh, Pokemon, right? At least there's no no Pokemon named Sasquatch. Catch it while it's asleep. Get it. There's a weird audio effect. Uh, it looks like there was a minor frame drop. And if there was a minor frame drop on the stream, it may have actually caused an audio issue. An audio glitch. So that's probably what you heard. What is that on the ground there? What is that? It's not a Pokemon, is it? The hell is it? Oh, it's a honeycomb. A dazzling honey. All right, I'm going to try to catch more of these uh, butterfly Pokemon, all right? Beautifly. Come on, perfect bat catch. You son of a... He's angry, but he doesn't know I'm here. I'm behind the tree, right? Oh, Never mind, he somehow knows I'm here. 
Well, I threw Pikachu out. He's probably going to get screwed up. Wow, <laughs> he's going to get destroyed. Thundershock is super effective. It's only a 1v1 fight good. I don't know what happened to the other beautiful but I'm glad it's 1v1. You put up... Oh, his defensive stats have been raised. Okay. I guess I should use a quick attack. I don't want to kill him. Or you know what I can do? I can use a light. I can use a light Thundershock, and maybe that won't kill him. It'll just put him to red. Nice. That's what I wanted. Oh, I see. Beautifly is the evolution of Silcoon. So I caught Silcoon, and now I'm, I, I already catch, caught this guy, too. But I'm going to try this instead of the Feather Ball, only because he has low red health. So maybe I can just catch him with the regular Pokeball. Or maybe not. He looks angry. No, I got him. Good. Woo! All right, I got to Oh, wow, everyone got tons of experience for that. Wow, new move for happening. Look at that. That was a good leveling right there. Uh, let me heal. Oh, wow, I need to craft potions. I can only craft two. Because I'm out of medicinal leaks. That sucks. I need more healing items. No, I mean... Oh, the menu! The menu! Oh, it's frustrating. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to save. Okay. So Daniel just did, uh, says, I'm loving the game so far. Not perfect, but it's an amazing step in the right direction for something fresh. I agree with you. I totally agree with you. It is, some, it is refreshing and different. And they definitely needed to do something different. I mean, let's face it. It's been the same game for how many years? So it's good to see that they tried something new. Yellow? Come on, give it to me. I got a yellow. No, they wouldn't give it to me. Let's go for a quick walk this way. See if there's anything new. Go for a walk around the side of the island here. I think I heard something. Oh, no. Those are the same guys. Same guys I've caught a million times. Combi's over here. Nothing special. I'll put you down there for some ore. TM Fool took me another $4.20. Thank you, man. This is the rumors. Is the next main Pokemon game will take place during the four Pokemon World War? There was a Pokemon World War? Really? There was? That sounds scary. Imagine all the different giant Pokemon uh, fighting each other in giant Godzilla like battles, destroying all of humanity. Oh, a log! I need these. I need two or three of these to, to uh, craft that new doll. Remember, there's a side mission to craft a doll? So I found one. I gotta find a couple more. Okay. The Pokemon World War. Get him. He's asleep. Catch him. Get that combi. I think I got him easily. When the ball does a little hop, it means you caught it pretty easily, I think. Sweet. Anything new over here? Ah, these are the bunnies. We caught a bunch of these already. Do we... Uh, let's take a look at the Pokedex. What's the name of the bunny? Where is he? Side up. Bo bunnery. I need to catch more, don't I? Shit. No, I... Oh. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, yeah, I gotta catch way more. I, I, I barely have any data on the bunnery. I should catch it. Okay. Daniel, I am aware about shiny Pokemon. I know that they look completely different. They can have rare stats, and they're incredibly rare spawns, so you gotta be very careful when you run into one to try to catch it. Yeah, I, re I remember from the last couple Pokemon games. Crap. You're not a very perceptive Pokemon. That was like a point-blank toss. Well, I got it. Successful. Point-blank. Gorilla Pimp did a Super Jesse. I'm going to poke a... Uh, no, you're not going to do that. If you do say that again, I'm going to slap you right off the stream. <laughs> How about that? How about that, Gorilla Pimp? How about you have some respect? Have some goddamn respect! 
All right. I need two more. Move has been mastered for uh, Munchlax down there. I need to catch two more here to increase a stat in the Pokedex. Oh, no. He's looking right at me. I'm so stupid. I totally thought that he was looking the other way. I couldn't see his eyeballs, so I thought that was his, uh, his back, and it was not. Uh, Daniel says, I try I found Treat Shinies already without trying. You can see them in the overworld in the game, which makes them easier to spot. I guess that's a good point. You can probably tell that they're a shiny, making them just innately easier to catch. I actually didn't think about that, but you're probably right. I don't think my Scyther the guy that I throw. Alright, I, I'm not going to catch this one. He's going to keep running, so... Oh my! That is going to be a tough fight. Let's save. I want to see if I can kill this guy. Look at him. It's a giant mutant bunny. <laughs> it's a giant mutant rabbit. Yes. Can you defeat the giant freakish mutant? Derek says he always liked Kralava. It's one of his favorite types. Well, I'm glad to hear that. This giant mutant bunny is probably heavy. Maybe I should use a heavy ball on it. Oh, he got right out. Alright, we got a fight. Oh boy, here we go. Ooh, Giant mutant freakish rabbit. Hyper beam. I avoided it. Wow. Okay, what do we got? Effective, effective, effective. Silver wind. You may also raise the user's offensive and defensive stats. Oh, that sounds good. Or I could raise my action speed. Now let's do offensive and defensive stats. Ugh, he's gonna get killed one hit. Why? Insta kill! Oh! one hit, so do a strong style rock smash with his weak against. Here we go. What? Tackle? I said use... What? I swear to God I selected rock smash. I swear to God and it did tackle. Did like nothing. There's no way I could kill this thing. Snow Cooper did a super chat to the war starter when Rattatus colluded with the, the Didos to impersonate other Pokemon sects. And they ended up sects, by the way. They ended up assassinating Kingdra and his family. Alright, Snow Cooper. Thanks for telling us all about that. Ugh. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat, Snow Cooper. Alright, well. Son of a bitch. We are not going to win this. <laughs> there is no way we're winning this fight. Uh, Pikachu. I choose you to faint next. Alright. Strong style. Oh, yeah. Does like nothing. Son of a bitch. But he's paralyzed. And then he used Hyper Beam anyway. But I avoided the attack expertly. So then he used Hyper Bean again anyway. Oh! You're welcome, Kevin. He says, thank you for the great stream. All right, Raz. 
Raz gets two turns according to this. So we'll go with a regular Ember. No. We'll go with Flame Wheel and then we'll do another attack after. Flame Wheel a second time. It's the best attack we can do. Yep. Oh! Now he's gonna die. Well, he's gonna get knocked out instantly by Double Edge. Oh my god. No! He didn't. He didn't die instantly. He did not get knocked out instantly. But then he got a second move. Oh! Wait, what? I beat him. It was the fire, right? The fire. Whoa. I was not expecting to win. I don't even understand what happened. Did it say he got hit by his own knockback? His own knockback damage, right? It was burn damage plus his own knockback damage actually did him in. Wow. Well, not exactly the outcome I was hoping for. I wanted to catch him, but... What can you do? Anyway. <laughs> all right, it's time to fast travel back to camp and revive all the Pokemon who are dead. Okay. Yikes. Died to its own recoil. Wow. <laughs> Pinocchio says, man, you know, I was the only person in the chat who said you would win if you just went all the way. Yeah, sometimes that's what you gotta do. You gotta go gung-ho in. Head first. So, the big cheese is, don't worry, those Pokemon will respawn. It's not like you won't have a chance to catch them again. So that's a good thing, because obviously I want to try to catch them again, but not now. He's too high level, right? I'd have to get pretty lucky to catch him. Let's save. And then again, let's ride my mount back to the forest. The forest is a good place right now to be exploring. There's Pokemon there that I either don't have or I need to research further. Uh, and uh, also there's some good, good items there, like the sky... Uh, from PayPal. What do they call them? The sky ore or sky element. I can't remember what it's called. But I need that to craft the, the feather ball. So spending some time in the forest seems to be a, a good idea. Plus, of course, that's where the mission is. Blah 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 Pickle Man, I am having a good evening so far. Thank you for asking. Look at this little leak. Go for a stroll through the forest. Oh, more Psyducks. I want to catch some Psyducks. Don't walk over here. Turn around. Turn around so I can catch you. That's not what I wanted to do. How do I select the other side duck? See, I don't know how to select the other one. It won't let me. I want to select the further away side duck who's basically not ready. But the game will only target the one right there next to me. I want to target that one. How do I target the other fucking Pokemon? It won't work. It doesn't work. I don't know what to do. Aim? I am aiming, and it targets the one in front of me instead of the one there. I want to get the one that's asleep, and it makes targets that one instead. So how do I do this? What about A? It's A. Thank you. The A button is the way to change targets. Thank you for that. What, what do you I do? That? That was Pink Hue. Thank you, Pink Hue. And now I caught a Psyduck because of it. I appreciate that, man.
Maybe he'll sleep now. A waddling side dog. You repeal, and that's it, because you're just going to waste our time again. All right, I'm tired of waiting. Darren says, Misty still has her side up to this day. Seriously, from season one? She still has the season one side up, huh? Well, you know, it's kind of like, I, I would assume, a loyal Pokemon. Mo, a, Pokemon. A loyal Pokemon is kind of like an old friend. Thanks, right? Derek. Even I if they're not super that. useful anymore because of, you know, so many different generations and evolutions. I'm sure it's nice to still have them around, especially just because of the memories of them helping you out in the past. You know what I'm saying? Your beloved... It's like a pet. A beloved pet you want to spend your life with, even if they're not so useful in combat anymore, right? Oh, I found the other log. I think I need two logs. Hold on a second. I think I can do the mission now. No. I need one more. Urgh, so close. Okay. No, I don't want to do that. Ridiculous. Stop playing the flute. <laughs> Stop playing the flute. Put the flute back in your pocket. All right? We got some better stuff to do than be riding around playing the flute. We got to catch some Pokemon here. Come on, man. What the hell you think you're doing? Shit, I bounced it. Oh, that's baloney, man. I had an increased chance to catch it and everything, and the thing still freaking got out. That's ball. That's nonsense. That's a bunch of bull. What if I climb all the way up the mountain like Skyrim? What's up here? Oh, look at this. What is this? An iron shell. Yeah, that's nothing special. I don't think you can climb all the way up. I don't think they're going to let you do that. Okay, I guess we'll head this way. It's just heading towards the story over here. Maybe we'll try to advance the story a bit tonight. I have enjoyed trying to just catching the random Pokemon, though. It's fun. How do I get up there? That's where I got to go. But there's a river. How do I cross over the river here? Is there a bridge? I think there's a bridge over there, actually. What the? Oh, I got poisoned. He poisoned me. You... What a... What a jerk. I didn't want to bother you. You poisoned me. I'm dying. I'm dying. He's I'm poisoned me. Okay, I think the poison finally wore out. <laughs> Terrible. All right. Do I like Magma or Onyx? Onyx? Onyx, isn't that the, the one that's like a, a rock made of... A snake made of rocks? That was one of my favorites from the, the season one of the uh, anime, actually. All right. Let's save again. And we'll see what we're going to do for this uh, story. All right. So you say galaxy people came up with a method to try to quell Lord Cleavor's Now this frenzy? shocks me. I need th that money. I really do. Lucky I need that money. Up Cleavor's favorite bills. foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him. That's quite an unorthodox approach. <clears throat> you galaxy people, your inventiveness just blows me away. I mean, now you can make offerings to Lord Cleavor from a safe dif distance. Just follow Excuse around a, 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 a giraffe and just suck <clears throat> the shit out uh, of its ass. Oh, it's so good. I'll it's send so you my delicious. aid if it means we might provide Cleavor's great great offering. Let's begin at once. Hold on, Leon. Leon. Don't get yourself. Don't get ahead of yourself. I can't speak tonight. Whatever the plan is, you'll need Cleavor's favorite plump beans. <laughs> Alive and well promise. in Israel. That's right. My apologies, Arita. I've forgotten about you. 
I admit, as we'd have been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. <clears throat> Even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. Prove to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our noble Pokemon it's Tevin's by fault. battling me. Oh my god, we have to battle Irina. If you can defeat Glacian and me, I will entrust you with Cleavor's fate. Alright. Glacian. So it is the, the ice version of evil. Of course, first move critical hit. Why not? Well, it's too bad I have to use rollout against you. Strong style. Time to roll out. Oh, roll out. Oh. I think it's time once again to use roll out. Roll out. G forces to the super chat. Say, I'm just joining your stream. Ass catch him is pure gold. Ass catch him. Thank you very much, G-Force, for the super chat. I appreciate that. Good to have you. And he leveled up during that fight, which is excellent. I see now. Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. That is correct. You still understand <clears throat> the Pokemon that you're caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now, I think. So let's see your Pokemon's... Oh, let's see to your Pokemon's wound. She heals poor Munchlax. Now explain the Galaxy Team's plan. What do you mean to do with those foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash Cleavor's favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him. Interesting. So you've developed soothing bombs or of sorts to calm our lord. Daniel says, in this game you can run mid-fight, heal your, your monsters, and restart the fight with the enemy. will stay at the health they were at. It's cheesy, but it helps with the alpha Pokemon. Oh, wow. So run away, quickly pop some potions, and run back. Okay, I need to make more potions. I don't have a lot of items right now. So CM Fool to the dollar fifty says, I lost this battle. This is his running joke, is that every Pokemon battle in any Pokemon game, he lost when he played it. Thank you, CM Fool, for the tips tonight. CM Fool, by the way, guys, we've got roughly, give or take, a half an hour left on tonight's stream. Laugh sounds like CM Fool remains the top tipper of $11. <laughs> so unless someone beats him in the next half hour, uh, he's going like, to be able to name a Pokemon. He'll have earned that right. No. Uh, like also, that it sure would be great if we could have some more support with tips. We have not hit any of the tips goals tonight. So please, if you're enjoying yourself, please support the stream if you can. Oh, also, yeah, we are at 93 oh, likes. Again, my goal this year is to get 100 likes on every stream. Guy. Please, if you're enjoying yourself, please like the stream. If you're watching this video on demand, I don't have money to do it. I don't have time to do it. I don't have money 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 to do it. So here we go. Let's make some bombs. I mean, bombs, B A L M S, oh, not Oh, no, you didn't, you no. motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. There, a veritable Mark mountain of fucking bombs. words. This should ease Cleavor if anything can. I'm coming for you. Now then, ready I'm yourself find out our mighty Cleavor, Lord are. of the Woods. You motherfucker. Then, I already read that. You are fucked. Let this be noticed live on the internet. You're fucked. All right. And you Do are this. done. We already got 100 likes. Thank you, guys. Appreciate that. Almighty Cleavor, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of the ceremony, we prepared an offering of your favorite things. But never let Lord who works his might between the heavens they and said, earth. They said, Phil, you know, we gratitude. contribute to you, but it and always seems like it's a black hole. To our eyes. Because it always seems like no matter like, how much we contribute, annoying ass you're always still back. having problems. I keep telling you're always still in debt, and, and nothing's getting better. 14 times. I agree he with comes you. comes back every day. Just leave. I hate you. Listen well, ass. Keep your focus on Cleavor. So, Snow Cooper did a super chat saying, The Pokemon who controls the Pokemon dollar supply controls the Pokemon world, and I control the Pokemon dollar supply, says Nose Pass, a rock Pokemon. There you go. How nice. Thank you for the super chat. Very hilarious, uh, very hilarious commentary from him. All right, here we go. Dodging is going to be vital. Try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs. All right, so I have to avoid his attack with the Y button. Grusha! Uh-oh. 
Whoa. What the heck? Look at this thing. Damn. It's fast and it's glowing. What's causing it to glow in that manner? It's pissed. Lord of the Woods. Cleavor. Alright, now how do I select this item I need to throw at him? Here we go. To claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs and add it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. If you manage to create an opening in the noble defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the Pokemon battle, the noble's guard stays down for a brief time. During that window, bombs are more effective than usual, so throw as many as you can. This rollout is super effective. Roll out. Ooh. <laughs> Ow, the jagged splinters have dug in. Chop bullet punch. What? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Not just in for a bomb. Chuck him, chuck him, chuck him. Come on. Whoa. Go! He disappeared. What the hell is he doing? Can you hit me again? Shut up, this dude who's being a, a moron. That was a good dodge. That's special delivery! <laughs> That's a delivery! <laughs> Not doing battle, there's like no health left. Why would I do battle now? I'd be pretty stupid now. Okay. This is very exciting. Knock him right out with this bag of food. Wow. You've cleansed the demons. Ugh. All right. <laughs> so level up for the Pokemon that were still conscious. <laughs> the I received an insect plate from Cleavor. All right. My last shot. Fly, go the tablet. Oh, the essence of bugs. So we'll use that certain Pokemon that will now oh, get the power of the bug type. Got it. Derek says Cleavor evolves from Scyther when exposed to a black augurite. It is one of Scyther's final forms, the other being Scyzor, the Pokemon that is red. All right. Very nice. Yeah, Daniel just said, yes, you can evolve Scyther into Cleavor. People do it while well, I'll confirming. Okay, cool. And then he runs away like a coward, completely defeated. Can't believe it. His child bested me? What happened? Some kind of light erupted from Cleavor's body. Has Lord Cleavor's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? 
Does this confirm that the strange light lightning was to blame for Cleavor's unnatural power? Maybe. Well, this is what I think, after all that we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. Those bolts must have shook Cleavor and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then the strange lightning it indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power? Then were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with the plan to create some bombs if I knew what I was doing, like some kind of thoughtless fool. How about Rages? Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. Would power sent by the true almighty Sinnoh have given Cleavor to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? No, I doubt it. What ass accomplished now? It needed to be done. Okay. Marty, no one sent any tips. The people who are sending that are full of it. They're just trying to derail the stream, which is why I'm ignoring them. Uh, no one's tips in, in about 10 minutes. It was CM Fool who tipped last, just so you know. Okay. Uh, I'm glad we can settle this without further strife and with the Diamond Clan of the Galaxy team. If you come across other Pokemon in the group of this painful frenzy, please help them. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. It's been pretty slow. For Not gonna lie. Incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for our lord. Okay. Daniel feels Cle uh, Cleavor is a better option for Scyther because Scyzor, the other one, is a bug steel which makes it four times weak to fire. Ooh, that's, that's lame. Please take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for having spoken rudely to you earlier and a token of my thanks. Three citrus berries. It's a berry that can be fed to a Pokemon to restore its HP up to half. Yeah, half its max. You can throw it to a Pokemon to draw their attention. Okay. Uh, let me care for your Pokemon as well in appreciation for fighting on our behalf. So she heals all the Pokemon. Good. I finally come to believe that you truly did fall out of the sky. Though I still cannot imagine its reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here, though between you and me, I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Cleavor in such a frenzy again. He was fearfully strong after all. <clears throat> it's because you're a weirdo. <laughs> it's because you're a jerk and a weirdo. Kid. Uh, so, I'm curious here. Here I am on the map, right? The Grand Tree area. But it, you notice that, um... Oh, I can fast travel here now? I can. It's not a camp, though. It's a fast travel point, but it's not a camp. We're still in the first region, the Obsidian Fieldlands. We haven't actually... Wow, we haven't really ventured far out at all in actuality. Pickle Man says, how do I feel this game compares to uh, the classic ones? It's so different. I mean, for me, again, it's refreshing because I've played a lot of the... I've play, played Pokemon Blue. And then over the years, I've played... What was it? Pokemon Ruby. Um, What was the one before Pokemon Black and White I played? I thought I played two, and then I played Pokemon Black and White. Not Black and White. Boy, I'm stupid. Pokemon Sword and Shield, right? I know I played at least three full Pokemon playthroughs in the past. The last one, Sword and Shield, not only did I do a full playthrough of the main game and completed the entirety of the Pokedex, then I played the DLCs as well. So that was kind of unique for me to do that, and I had a lot of fun with it, but it definitely is the same formula over and over, and so to have something like this that has some refreshing gameplay elements to it, I feel is quite nice. Um, oh, another combi. Get another combi. How dare you lower my stats? Unacceptable. Super rollout is super effective against everyone. Just hit him with it. Daniel says, "I think at this part in the story, you can now purchase potions back at the village if you want to. You want to craft them? Okay. Oh wow, I bunch of, I had a bunch of berries for that fight. Yeah, when I won the fight, they awarded me with berries." Oh, good, Vivichoke. I can make some uh, revive items. Looks like this is an invisible wall dead end now. You know what this is? This is the end of the world map, isn't it? It is. This is the end of the world map. So there's a big... <laughs> a big wall in the way. That's right, Derek. So I played... That's right. I played Ruby. Then I played Moon. Then I played... Sword and Shield, is that correct? I didn't play another Pokemon game in between there. And then recently I played Pokemon Snap, although I don't consider that a real mainstream Pokemon game. It's very different. Um, 
But this is the first mainstream Pokemon game that's intentionally designed to play much differently from the classic formula, turn-based stuff. Marty feels that this works better as a Dame stream. Can I move it back? Why do you feel this works better as a day stream? I don't even understand what you mean by that. Like, I think it worked well as a night stream today. It's been ha we're having fun today, right? We're having a good stream. We're having a good time. We're interacting. We're having a good conversation. I'm trying to grab all these items. I think it's from so far away. It's pretty funny. Zane feels it's better as a night stream. Yeah, I don't see I don't see why you guys don't think it would be good as a night stream. It worked out well, I feel. Right? We still got a ways to go. We still got like 20 minutes. Anything else over here? That's the mountain with the crazy dimensional rift above it. But I don't think we're going that way. We gotta go back to town now, I think, right? And report in what we did. All I'm doing is I'm trying to see if there's any extra odds and ends here I can collect. Not really. It looks like it's all the same Pokemon at this point, right? The same Zubats, the same Jufloons. I'm not really seeing anything new. There's the rare gold bat that I can't beat. It's over 40 or whatever, right? Pokemon X, but not on stream. I What? I played Pokemon X, but not on stream. I did? I don't recall that. All right. Let's get out of here. Where are we going for the story? Oh. I'm being targeted by a wild Pokemon. Oh, this guy, huh? Okay. So, I don't know if they want me to go back to town, or... I guess let's go back to camp and see what it says. Let's do that. Let's see. Jeffrey says, will the Game Pass Miracom be all new games? It will be probably a combination. I'm thinking it will be some new games we haven't seen and some that people want to return. It will ultimately be up to you guys because you guys will be voting. So. Let's report these now. All right. Make some new observations. Most illuminating, I'll update the Pokedex with new data. Okay. Ten more. <laughs> nice. I need the next rank. I can go rank up. <laughs> you yourself a promotion. All right, I got to report to the captain. You quelled Lord Cleavor. Well done, my boy. Time to head back to the village and report to Commander Kamado. So we have a lot of things to do. Okay, cool. That's right, Daniel. I remember that combi has that gender-based evolution that could be completely different. Yeah. Because one of the, I think the males don't evolve, but the females do, right? All right. I saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. Damn straight, I did. What do you have there? Could it be? It's been pretty slow. Not gonna Those lie. Those two are the fabled plates of old. Please let me have a look. I see there are letters carved into them. Let's see. This one says, "Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin." It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How'd you come across these? I see. You were given the plates when you impressed Wordier and Cleavor. That's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. All right. It is my guess you will find more plates like this scattered across his suite. Uh, if we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. I must be on my way until next time. All right. Derek is wondering who my favorite Eevee evolution is. I don't really have one. I always forget what they are. <laughs> oh, here we go. Is this one to turn in or is this a new quest? I'm Can someone sure. please shut up this dude who's being yeah, a, a I don't moron? have a favorite. Daniel says there's a lot of weird evolution conditions. The Pokemon and Inke. That's right. That, that's what we had to do. Remember? What, what we did do that. I do? When we played Sword and Shield. Inke is the squid Pokemon. And the only way to evolve is to turn your, your switch upside down at a certain what, time. What do I do? And then it evolves. Okay. So listen to this. I saw something out in the wild. It was incredible. A will-o'-the-wisp. A ball bright red fire. When I was walking on Windsept Run the other night, it leaped at me like, whoa. 
At it again with the story, huh? Don't listen to her, mister. My big sis always gets carried away with her fairy tales. Oh, for goodness sake, I'm not making it up. I saw that will-o'-the-wisp with my own two eyes. Oh, yeah? Why don't you show it to me? Good luck with that. <laughs> it's so frustrating you won't believe me. I honestly did see one. You were with the Survey Corps. I heard you're the prodigy. Can you, can, you could easily catch the will-o'-the-wisp. All right. Will-o'-the-wisp, another side mission. Catch it, bring it back. All right. Any other side missions around? So it's told if you do this, you press Y. That'll show your quests and side quests, right? <clears throat> show Marley the completed Pokedex MG for Starly. Oh, yeah? Now, how would you find these? See, look. Give Moral the item he requested. He requested a springy mushroom. Where do I go to give him this? Where are these guys? Because I'd like to trade these in. But I don't know where the hell these people are. Right? <laughs> what, what do I do? Look at this. Get a Geo oh. dude. How do I find these people? Reaching the end of the stream, and now I'm being told there's an imposter, Derek. It's like, dude, it's the end of the fucking stream, man. We're nearing the end. Do I really want to fucking deal with this now? Of course I don't. It's incredibly fucking annoying. We're at the tail end of the fucking stream, and I gotta deal with this bullshit. Some fucking brainless idiot. Thinks he's fucking funny, when in reality... Grab some salt. Alright. Well, there's nothing I can do about it right now. I can't right now. Alright. If it continues, I can stop it, but I can't fix it now. So, good lord. What, what do I do? Alright, guys, so... Last 10 minutes or so of tonight's stream, what we're going to do, I guess, is just trade in these things. We have two missions to do. And we're going to level up the two stars and see what the next story thing is. And that's going to be it for tonight's Pokemon stream. So, absolute last chance. If you're looking I to need contribute that money. I really to do. name I need a Pokemon, that money you have to, to pay top CM Fool's tip of $11 by the end of the stream. Okay, you have to be the top tipper by the end of the stream in order to name a Pokemon. Um, I hate to say it. It is a little unfortunate. It would have been great if we could have had some more contributions tonight. Uh, when I had this as a day stream, the contributions were actually quite good. I don't know if it's the, the contributions today has slowed down as a result of it being a night stream or a result of it just being Pokemon. I don't know because the two times I played it before, it actually went quite well. Um, but also, it what really stinks about this is if we get people who contribute last minute right now to try to main a Pokemon, again, there's no time for a hat. There's no time for any reward, which is why I was trying to tell you guys... <laughs> If we're going to contribute, please do it earlier so we have time for things like a poll for a hat or something, you know. But in reality, it's looking like no one's going to going to top CM full. It looks like he's going to be the top tipper, so I guess it is what it is. All right. So this is a side quest here. Peculiar Ponita. Yoda, a fellow from the village, claims he was, he's seen a rather strange Ponita. We must investigate the matter for the good of science. Okay. Hint, That's hint, it. hint. Gee, thanks. All he says is I expect good things of you. Oh, okay. Um, I want to I want to hit three stars. Let's go talk to what's her name. She not. Oh wait. 
Isn't this it? Maybe not. Where's her office? She's not on the third floor, is she? I don't think so. Looks like this is where the story is. Wait, maybe she's in here for the story cutscene, or she's gonna be in here for the story cutscene? Because right now I don't see her. She's not... Unless she's on the first floor, but I don't think so. She's supposed to be around to level you up in her office, but she's not there. Miserable. This is miserable. Oh, here she is. I'm just stupid. I was on the wrong floor because I'm dumb. Here we go. Alright, I have progress to report. Give me the three stars. Come on. Come on. You have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Very nice. Derek, you have a good night. I will see you Thursday night for more Pokemon indeed. Thank you. With this, you've officially attained the rank of third star in the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Great Ball. Oh, I can use the Great Balls now. Thanks, yes, those are much better than the that. regular Pokeballs. Higher catch chance. Cool. All right. So, Pokemon up to level 40 will now obey you as well. Cool. Have this as well. It's a further recipe. Is it the Great Ball recipe? It is. I wonder what we'll need. One Apricorn, an Iron Chunk, and a Tumble Stone. So let's take a look. Yeah, I can make it right now. This is all common ingredients. Wow, I can make a ton of them. What, what do I do? What? I'll just make as many as I can. What do I do? Chunk. All right, 18 great balls now. Cool. All right. So that's good. We traded that in. Now we got to do the story. That's upstairs. We'll advance the plot here a bit before we adjourn for the night. Daniel says this peculiar Ponita quest will actually be a shiny encounter. You're kind of guaranteed to get it if you complete it. I see. I see. $16 well done. Cents I've already received the reports PayPal. of your exploits. You successfully quelled Cleavor's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Hisui's people. You're a stranger to us, the one who fell out of the very sky, but yet you served the galaxy team admirably. From PayPal. <clears throat> I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere. Noble... Oh, so... There's other regions I have to, to stop these Pokemon from going. Blah 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 I'm all for one that if you like something, you know, have it. But don't they get tired of having Potato Moki every single time they go to this place? Like, we've been playing the game for, what, eight hours? And they probably have Potato Moki four times I really already. do. Like, I need that money. Of it. I'd be tired bills. of it. And then give me something else. And in fact, I'll eat anything but Potato Moki here. If there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. There you go. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against the Cleavor. I dare say Ass was well prepared. It was a quick study it's of been pretty slow. the battle from what I heard. All in all, it was a very good show, a victory well earned. We can feel safer going about our Survey Corps duties now thanks to your efforts. Okay. By the way, why not try crafting some of these? Uh, I made a recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs. So it's a recipe... Well, I don't even have these yet. A recipe of crafting smoke bombs from scratch. A caster fern leaf and a soot foot root. I don't think I found those at all yet. Lovely. And now that we not need worry about being mauled by Cleavor either, let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Can someone please shut up this dude yes. who's being a, a moron? Cool. Ass catch him. I've been waiting for you, ass Ketchum. My name's Vessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Wanna come with me? <laughs> what the? Uh... 
Um, this is kind of a secret, but something my terrible happened. Like, Hitchley is in a whole act. lot of danger. That's when I laugh and I go, <laughs> Hundreds of years <laughs> ago, a being that brought calamity to this region like, act, act, was act, sealed act, act, away by no, someone using the power like of a strange all. magic. Now, for some unknown reason, that magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please ask, catch him, hear me out. Ooh. I need you to restore that broken seal. I don't believe you. <laughs> yeah, I guess it's a normal response to hearing such a strange story. I must sound crazy. Stop this! Yep. But you just have to believe me. <laughs> Can I give you this odd keystone anyway? No. I'll help you see. It'll help you see the truth. No, I don't want that. You keep it. You, I don't want to touch it. You leave it. Get, get unless you got like a, what do you call it? A, a sterilization uh, like a wrap or a wipe or you know, you know something to decontaminate that thing. I, I keep that away from me. I don't even know where it's been or where, where you, you've been licking it or something. He took it. What a stupid idiot. <laughs> he took it. It even has a weird crack. Oh come on! It's dark it Dave's fault. Crack on it. So you're gonna be an asshole. You're gonna be, be, you're gonna be treated like an asshole. You're gonna be shown the door. Light. What? After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Hiswi. A hundred and seven of them in total. With the odd keystone I gave Couldn't you, couldn't do anything. See, I all. can't do anything. I'm reaction. It's garbage. See, the wisps are normally invisible, but not to the holder of an odd keystone. I didn't keystone. know that. Oh boy. I know it's a huge task, but please, you have to gather all those wisps for me. This girl's like five years old. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? This girl, she probably like, there's probably a contest. If you collect all of the wisps, you, you mail them in, and you redeem it to get a free Bratz doll or something, right? It's one of those stupid you know, contests for kids. But tiger, tiger, aro, aro, tiger, aro, aro. Actually, I think this girl is a Bratz doll if you take a close look at her. Anyway, <laughs> see that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Oh, that sounds like a good idea. When you see a pile of purple flames, ta toss your hands in there. Wait, I don't want... Oh, there was a bridge right here. I didn't even know there was a bridge here. I was going to go the other way. The pastures house the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here and change up your party. Oh, I'm not doing this yet. We'll do this in a second, actually. But let's do this. Let's go see some brats. I mean, let's go touch this flame. If I could get down on my hands and knees and say thank you and still be on camera, I would do it. He just absorbed a soul? What the hell is this? Dark souls? He absorbed a soul. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Where's the bonfire? I'll level up with this. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help finding the remaining wisps. Fun! Great. One last thing. As you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you rewards as thanks. I'll wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Who is this girl? This is weird. Who the hell was that? How would a girl even know about that? <laughs> what? The next... They couldn't have changed, picked an adult model for that. It had to be like a five-year-old girl. How did that make any fucking sense? Any adult, an adult character model would have made more sense. Wow, the Galaxy Team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Hey, you're Ass Ketchum, the boy who quelled Cleavor, aren't you? That's me. I knew it. You got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones, so people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. <laughs> I'm a resu, by the way. I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving me haircuts. Real nice to meet you. Oh, snit. I came here to talk to your Mr. Kamado. See you around. <clears throat> okay. Sure. A hairdresser in a Pokemon game. Why not? We got a bunch of more side quests that are opening up. It's been pretty slow. Not gonna lie. You there, valued customer. The would you here. rather have more wares for you to choose from? Yes. That it would? I, I said it would be nice. And he says, 
That it would. Unfortunately, Tao Hua refuses to provide me with any new goods to offer. He won't listen to a word I say. Would you try to persuade him for me? I'm sure you'll get somewhere with him if you bring some hearty grains as a token of goodwill. Two or three stocks ought to do it, but make it three to play it safe. Uh, where do you get hearty grains? I have no idea. Oh my god, look at all these side missions that are opening up now. Insane amounts. There's another one over there. It's me again. I'm back. So this guy is the, the balloon mission, right? You're the boy from the Survey Corps, aren't you? Thank goodness you came along. Can I ask you to fetch a plant for me? I need to use it to make medicine. It has three leaves that taste bitter enough to make you dizzy, but I don't know where it grows, so ask Anish from the medical I don't have money to do it. 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 mission. It certainly doesn't sound very riveting, right? $16.51 from PayPal. What the fuck? It's me again! You're in the Survey Corps, ain't you? Just the fella I'm looking for. I'm working to make these here fields bigger, but the ground sure is hard to plow. I'm looking for someone to lend me a hand. More fields means more food, which means everyone's happy, including the Survey Corps. We're in this together, right? If you have a ground-type Pokemon, can I borrow it? Alright, I have like 17 Geodudes. Here you go. Alright, give it up. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Y'all have expanded the field. Let's get started. It's turning gritty old soil soft and fluffy like it's nothing. How's it doing that? Wow. We're done Stop here. What a trooper. All right. That was some fine work. Can you will do great things to you two? We'll keep your Pokemon here to help out with the field work longer. Give it a holler if you want. Swap in a different Pokemon. No, he can stay. <laughs> he can freaking stay. See you later, Brink. There's more fields available for farming. That's great, but I don't know how to actually farm them. So. Whoa. What is that? A lantern? Why is she having a lantern in her hand in the middle of the day? In the middle of the daytime, a lantern for night. Great. Genius. Probably a nice nice to wear sunglasses. What? <laughs> oh, man. Dude, look at all these side missions. Ridiculous. I gotta adjourn the stream, but there's a hundred side missions unlocking. Waka waka. Shell Cut Artist wants me to avoid all coronavirus comments. I can do that, too, if you guys hey, really survey want to. guy. You know what you need to do to be a super awesome member of Galaxy Team? Okay. Be wicked smart. Nope! I get it. That's, I guess that's also important, but you need to have a partner. A great partner Pokemon backing you up. You'll be as strong as 100 people. I really want to watch a Pokemon of my own someday, so I've been throwing balls to get my aim spot on. I think I'm ready to practice with real Pokeballs. I bet you have loads of them because you're in the Survey Corps. Can you give me five of your balls? I guess I can give him five balls. You made it over five Pokeballs. Woohoo! Now I can catch a partner Pokemon on my own. Here's a reward, Grit Dust. This is the dust that levels up the, the stats, specific stats of a Pokemon. All right, that was a fair trade, so I can make so. If you're gonna be an asshole, anyway, you're gonna be treated matter. like an asshole. You're gonna be shown the door. Oh my god! All right, one more. Oh my, you! You know you remind me somehow of a grand grandmother. She... Of course, I remind people of their grandmother. She was always friendly with her Pokemon, just as you seem to be. I feel that same aura from you as you could become true friends with a Pokemon. I'd be interested in seeing how friendly you are with the Pokemon that you carry. Hope you'll show me sometime. Measuring your compatibility. Oh, yeah? Who would be the most compatible? How do you tell? What is? Where is the compatibility stat of a Pokemon? I don't even know how to see this. What do I do? I'll just try and see what happens. Look how pleased it is to be traveling with you. You're a true friend, I can tell. My grandmother was precisely like you. The type of person who can understand their minds and hearts of Pokemon. 
I grew up watching how she interacted with them, so I have a bit of knack of sensing how compatible a person and a Pokemon are. If you'd like to, you can keep on coming to show me your Pokemon. I'll be happy to inform you how they're feeling. <clears throat> That's it? All he does is tell me if the, if the Pokemon likes me? <clears throat> wow. All right, well, what I'd like to do next time, first thing that we'll do is we will do this balloon race since we already beat the first one. We'll probably do the next one first thing. So let's save up. That's not saving up. Let's save up. And let's not do that. I want to save up. <laughs> I have to keep saying it. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for a great stream. This is a good, nice, chill stream of Pokemon Legends Arceus. I had a good time. I hope that you guys did, too. Um, we made good progress in the story, right? We did two legs of the story, pretty much. Uh, and we caught a lot of Pokemon. We did a few interesting fights. Keep in mind, this stream, excuse me, this game will continue like this for a while. In fact, over the month of September, boy, hold on a second. Let's try this again. Over the month of February, <laughs> I said September, over the month of February, this game will be the night stream game, essentially. There will be some other games on the night streams, but this will be the major kind of stream game for the next few weeks. Um, it's chill. It's fun, in my opinion. I'll be playing it at least twice a week, if not more. This week in particular, I'm playing it more than twice. But uh, <clears throat> I hope that you guys had a good time. I personally had a good time. Now, you want me to be honest? Yeah. I'm a little disappointed that the two times I played Pokemon as a main gameplay stream, we had tons of support. Like, overwhelming support. And some people are saying, oh, it's because there's that one guy who every day... Uh, named One Minute Man who tips uh, a, a big tip. Yeah, but even if you had uh, factored that in, if he had been here tonight and tipped, we still wouldn't have even... They said, Phil, you know, we contribute to you, so, but it always seems like it's a black hole. What that tells me is that because maybe it always seems like no matter how much was we a contribute, different audience for you're the always still like having problems. And you're now always still in debt and, and nothing's getting better. Because how is it that I, I agree with twice you. as a major stream and actually did quite well, and then... All of a sudden, I play it as the first, very first time I play it as a night stream. I don't have money to do it. 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 I don't have money to to pay my bills. I personally, I think it was a great stream. We had good conversation. You guys were helping me out and learning about Pokemon evolutions and stuff, and we had good progress. So in my book, everything was good except the contributions weren't great. And there's nothing I can really do about that besides say, I wonder what happened and maybe make it make people a little bit more aware. But I had a good time, so I'm actually very much looking forward to the next stream in a couple of days. All right, I want to say thank you. You guys were a great audience. Thanks to everyone who chilled. I mean, we had a whole, over 100 likes on the stream, which is great. Attendance was pretty decent for a late-night Pokemon stream. Everything there was good. It was just contributions, so... And by the way, it's official. CM Fool, who tipped $11 within, like, the first 15 minutes of the stream, is still the top tipper here at the end of the stream. Okay? So, he said, name a Pokemon The Rock. Right? I, want to take I don't think there's any Pokemon in my party that are Rock Pokemon. No. But you Are know you a what? functional retard? I have to ask. I'm going to name this Machop The Rock. Why? Ooh. It's a fighting type. And The Rock is always a fighter, right? I think this is better, too. How do I make a, a space here? Why? That is... Ugh. You know what I hate? That every game system has a completely different button layout and every system if you press you one button play one the thing on the other system it's another button entirely like why is now this button which is actually square on playstation you suck shit I we don't want that's actually ever X again shut your face in fact if you would actually zip your lips like, oh my permanently God. put a zipper okay. on your lips and go zip we're gonna never talk this again machop. better off your content the rock. actually now, here's better the cool off. thing you just shut the if hell up if this machop actually evolves it'll become a much tougher fighting type Pokemon, it'll be like a roided wrestler, like The Rock, right? So that's actually kind of cool. We'll see if we can actually grab him, grow, and evolve, right? All right, so let's save up. 
And again, I want to say thanks to everyone who chilled tonight. I did have a great time with all of you, regardless of the fact that contributions weren't great. The stream itself was quite entertaining and fun for me and chill. So I hope that you guys had a good time. All right. Thank you all for a great stream. And I'll see, hopefully I'll see you more in a couple days. All right. And if you watch this Stop on this. demand on YouTube and you had a good time, please give it's it a like. Please shut up. Leave this a dude, comment. Let me know what you a think. Moron. And uh, hopefully you'll be back for more later in the week. Thank you guys. Okay. All right, everyone. So, yeah, everything I said, I mean. Like, I had a great time tonight. So, it's not like I'm going to sit here and be angry. YouTube mode on. I had a good time. I just hope that things do pick up. I hope it won't be like this every night, you know. All right. Good stuff. Thank you guys very much. I'm now going to upload this gameplay to the channel. So, if you missed any portion of tonight's stream, you can get caught up. Now, for those of you who've been waiting in anticipation to start seeing some end game and, and some of the uh, finale of... The Forgotten City, you're going to see it tomorrow, because tomorrow's mainstream is The Forgotten City, and we're finally going to go back to it and try to get some of those uh, conclusions, all right? So that's going to be good on the first stream. Tomorrow night's late stream is going to be uh, Halo Infinite, the final Halo Infinite multiplayer stream for a while, all right? I'm just going to give now it like a last hurrah kind of a deal, and uh, then we're going to give it a rest until finally they put new content in it, which is supposed to be like three months from now, which is insane in my opinion. Now, I can't tomorrow block. will be a good day. But Thursday is essentially the same as today. More Skyrim, more Pokemon. If you enjoyed Pokemon tonight, I hope you'll come back on Thursday night for another chill late night stream. All right, guys? Swaggins wanted us to do his renewal membership. Thank you for that renewal message there, Swaggins. And thank you for the ongoing support. Seven months and, and still going. Thank you. All right, guys, please have a good evening. I hope to see you all in the morning. For the Forgotten City. Sound good? Please have a good night. Please be safe. I shall they see you are. all in the AM. All right? Guys, peace out. Have a good night. See you later. Today's been incredibly slow. Thanks, Derek. I appreciate that. Miserable. Just miserable. Listen, man, you suck ass. We were winning and now we're losing because you are a failure. Oh, here we go. Now he's talking about WWE champions. So he's a piece of shit. You piece of donkey shit. How about this? How about this? WWE champions. All right. WWE champions lives rent free in your motherfucking head. I don't think about WWE champions. You do. You probably know way more about the fucking game than I ever will. Because you're an idiot. You're an obsessed loser.
blah 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 We're soulmates. I don't have money to do it. 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 Scrubbed out away, and he did not earn that whatsoever. It's Tevin's fault. Can someone please shut up this dude who's being a, a moron? It's Super Hound's fault. The one hundred ten dollars and nine cents from Apple iTunes. Sixteen dollars and fifty one cents from PayPal. Ah!
my laugh sounds like ack, ack, ack. So when I laugh and I go, <laughs> or <laughs> does that sound like ack, 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 ack? No, it sounds nothing like that at all. I need th- that money. I really do. I need that money to pay my bills. Oh, no, you didn't, you motherfucking piece of shit cocksucker. Mark my fucking words. I'm coming for you. I'm going to find out who the fuck you are. You motherfucker. You are fucked. <laughs> 